California voters approved Proposition 215 in 1996, protecting patients who use medical cannabis with a doctor's recommendation from criminal prosecution. Unfortunately, nothing in California law protects patients from civil discrimination, and patients still face pervasive discrimination in areas such as employment, housing, parental rights, and equal access to health care. One of the most tragic examples of this discrimination is when patients are denied a life-saving organ transplant because they test positive for legal medical cannabis use. My name is Justin Turley. I live in San Diego, California. I'm sick. My liver is failing. I will need an organ transplant soon. I'm a medical marijuana patient. I use marijuana therapy to treat pain and depression caused by my illness. Marijuana therapy helps me use fewer opiate prescriptions which further damage my liver. My health care provider will not put me on the transplant list because I use marijuana therapy. I think that is wrong. I deserve a chance. Everybody deserves a chance. In 1996, I had a full liver transplant. And for four years, I laid in bed and withered in pain. Until someone handed me a joint and I smoked it. And it was the very first relief that, I've ever had, that I ever had after the liver transplant. I was told at the hospital that if I kept using marijuana as medicine, that I wouldn't be transplanted again. But my choice was quality of life. I didn't want to live the way I had lived the first four years after the transplant. And if that meant not you know, medicating with marijuana, then so be it. I was not going to stop. I didn't want to give up my quality of life. The irony to me is the fact that I was a successful clinical trial patient while using medical marijuana and had the support of the clinical trial medical side in using medical marijuana and that there was a total disagreement because of existing protocol. I'm personally aware that the usage in my usage of medical marijuana has uh, lessened any need that I have for any prescribed opiates which I'm allowed to take. The chances of changing protocol and at this point, uh, it's a long shot, but uh, I'm going forward with the challenge of trying to change it to make it easier for the next, next people that are in my my situation. This outdated policy predates medical cannabis laws in the state and also the emerging science around the therapeutic benefits of medical cannabis. Americans for Safe Access is concerned about this issue because members of ours have died and others are in jeopardy right now because they were removed from the National Organ Transplant Waiting List for testing positive for legal medical cannabis. That's why we're sponsoring the Medical Cannabis Organ Transplant Act, an act that will protect patients from discrimination uh, when it comes to issues around organ transplant. This act will save lives and it's going to increase survivability when it comes to organ transplants. We want you to support this important act in the state legislature this year. The Medical Marijuana Organ Transplant Act will help me and many others. It will save lives. Please pass the Mer Medical Marijuana Organ Transplant Act before more people die. Please don't let me die. Please pass this law now.